What is up guys and welcome back to part 7 of the Spongebob movie game. Now, so, we I had a bit of a dilemma uh, before recording this episode. I actually attempted to record this episode uh, two other times and was stuck on what's ahead that I will be showing you guys here in just a moment. Uh, and that, uh, those other two episodes also attempted to play this challenge over here. Um, it is called the Floating Block Challenge. It, it seems relatively easy, but I kept failing, and I just didn't want to waste the time on it to get that Goofy Goober token. That's something I can come back to or try to do off camera. But this is something I wanted to show you guys uh, over here. Uh, there were some boxes right here, and a little blowy up barrel type of thing that blew them up, the safes. Um, but it, it's this area right here. So, you noticed over there in the distance, there is a butt with, a, with the fan blade spinning. Well, you notice how there's not a thing for Patrick to pick up and throw over there? Yeah, I was stuck. I kept trying to figure out how to... Oh, weird camera angle. I kept trying to figure out how to pick something up and throw over there. Like, I had no idea. And then, I looked up a tutorial. And then I got to wondering. I did not know about this feature. There's this button that pulls this up. Now, some of you are probably screaming at me. Like, why are you not upgrading your moves or anything like that? And apparently there is one more SpongeBob move that we have yet to unlock. Which makes sense. Because we just unlocked the last um, ability for Patrick. So... That only means Spongebob would have one more ability. Now, I got to thinking. I was like, huh. What if I do this? The smash, you know you know how you can... Before, before I do that, you know how I can jump up and press the, the attack button. And then Patrick does this thing and you can take care of those um, enemies that have pets over there. Whoa, check this out. Oh, wrong button. Um... You go over here to upgrade his smash. Watch this. When upgraded, allows Patrick's me. macho smash move to stun any nearby enemies. So, you're probably wondering, what does this mean? Well, my dear audience, I shall show you. First, we gotta go over here to this guy. And we get smashed and pick him up. Uh-oh. I hate these guys. Okay, come on, come on, come on. So pretty much we just do that this entire time. Oh my god. Okay, we got that guy taken care of. Now we don't gotta worry about him. Now we gotta worry about this guy right here. Because he is very annoying. So pretty much this entire time we could have been throwing enemies. Stunning and throwing enemies. And that honestly make these guys way easier. Okay. Now that that guy's taken care of. So it seems that we can just do it near. We don't have to do it right directly on. So we just throw an enemy on that. And it loads these up. And pretty much from here, I don't know what's next. <laughs> but, oh gosh. We gotta at least get that burger because we got one help. But that makes me wonder. Because we have five uh, of these. So, what I want to do is upgrade the help. Of SpongeBob you know, and Patrick. I never can get enough of these. Because honestly, I think I we're we, we need it. Fun. So, um, upgrade spin. description. When upgraded, allows Patrick's ma Macho Star Spin to reflect enemy projectiles back at them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely want that. So we'll upgrade Patrick's Star Spin. Now, what does this throw do? When upgraded, allows Patrick's 
throw objects much farther by pressing the R1 button. Hmm, okay. When upgraded, allow SpongeBob to do damage to anything that gets near. Uh, press the circle button to detonate it. Okay. What about Bash? Mm, when upgraded, um, the gloves, Macho Bash glove to stick to things, press the button to detonate the glove. Okay. I feel like we should upgrade his throw at least. Now, I guess we can upgrade the bash. First triangle to detonate it. Okay. Now that we took took care of some of the upgrades there, um, honestly, I completely had I had no idea that we had upgrade points. Oh, okay. Well, that that's that. But hey, at least we got full health now. Oh god, I hate those guys. Oh wait, we can actually reflect this projectile back at them. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it, maybe. Okay, man, I gotta take care of this guy first because he's gonna cause a whole lot more problems if I don't. This while we can. Mm. I'll say, how are we going to take care of that guy now? I didn't think of that. Stop throwing things at me. Can we jump over here now? Yeah, okay. Honestly, I didn't think of throwing enemies at this guy over here just to take, take care of him. That's okay. If we die, we die. Okay, well, we died. Uh, but. Now I know this time around that we need to take care of them guys before it gets out of hand. Okay. Not the best at deflecting. There we go. 
Okay, uh, sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just really focusing on trying to get this done. How much of a man do I have to be? Right, I can get this guy. Get you. There we go, now that we've done it. Jumping, jumper, jumper, Okay, cool. Awesome. And as far as this goes... We gotta get there before the watermelon... ...disappears. Wait, really? I didn't count. Okay. Let's go grab another one. And I don't want to die because I'm kind of afraid that it'll make me... Defeat those enemies again. You don't have to worry about hurting yourself thinking anymore. Oh, shut up, Plankton. We do the thinking for you. There we go. Why does SpongeBob and Patrick look really weird? People Their models. Okay, that was weird. Now, hey, at least we got a Goofy Goober token out of it. I think that completes this level, I'm not sure. Name's Dennis. Oh boy. Hello, boys. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. A big pile of broccoli? Name's Dennis. I was hired to kill you. Look, buddy, I hate to burst your bubble. You know, in the game, two men here. We don't have time for these silly games. So if you could just step aside. In the game, Dennis seems a whole lot nicer. <laughs> it sounds a whole lot nicer anyway. Oh, it's a boss fight. Okay. See ya. Yeah, we definitely would have needed that for this. Is this all there is to it? Well, we could have had to use the watermelon too, but we got this Billy, so there's no need. Okay, I got I gotta collect these. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Oh my god, man. The stunning is so bad. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. I figured as much. And it resets his whole health. That was actually really stupid. Oh, the watermelons do a whole lot more. Is 
have actually got some range on it too, dude. Oh, come on. He jumped it last second. Oh, that double shot me. What the heck, man? That shouldn't have counted. That shouldn't have counted. That double shot me. What the? Oh my god. This boss spot's actually really hard. Okay. I can't time it. Okay, I can't time it because when I actually get up there to him when he's just standing still, he just jumps immediately as I throw. Okay, that was... Okay, hey, let me start over. That was a double tap right there. This shouldn't have happened. I say that's what's getting me is that it, he's landing on me. There we go, there we go. I actually did it this time. Oh, oh god, Marty. that was a little difficult. Was that supposed to be Bigger Boot? <laughs> bigger Boot wasn't that big. Finally, I got you right where I want you. That's a big boot! Don't worry, this'll only hurt a lot! <laughs> I love this job! Bigger boot! Wait, Pat! This bigger boot saved our lives! Yay! Thank, Thank you, stranger. stranger! It's the Cyclops! Run! And so, SpongeBob and Patrick escape the clutches of the mad, murderous Dennis. Only to be captured by the even more hideous Cyclops. And then, they passed out. Awakening in a dreamy, goofy, goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goofy goober. Patrick, there's the goofy goober himself. Oh, boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on, allowing nothing to distract them. Goofy, 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 goofy goober, 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 yeah! yeah! It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Uh, go ahead. Just a dream. Sunday driving. That was a little weird. Only Goofy Goober knows the way out of Gooberland. The sea bottom Gooberland. is not place. So we're in a dream? That's interesting. Guys, Goofy Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. Follow Goofy Goober and don't lose him. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no chance of him getting away from us. Yeah, we won't let him out of our sight. I don't know about that. He looked like he was really fast when he just passed by. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again. Oh, yeah. If he gets too far away, he looks like he's really fast, though. To a decent start. Yeah, he, uh, never mind. He's not that fast. Yeah, he ain't that fast. Oh, shoot. Don't worry, I'm trying. Oh, man, I missed that. I don't want him to get too far away, though. Can't go back for it. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
We don't really need the boosts, to be honest. Yeah, we don't really need them. We can pretty much keep up with them. And even, even if we do make mistakes, we can kind of... We don't really need to correct it. There's not, like, that big of a penalty against, like, messing up. We can stay relatively close to him and catch up if we get too far behind. Yeah, a secret. I'm going to be three laps in here. Okay, he's changing course. See, look, it's a little forgiving. Good thing there's an invisible barrier there. Otherwise, I would have messed up really bad. We're still on the second lap, aren't we? I'm I'm staying with him, Patrick. Please just shut up. I don't really think he's taking us to the exit because as of right now we're just going in circles because I mean this is the third lap after all oh 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 Stay with him, SpongeBob. I am I am Hot on his trail right now. Oh shoot! I almost missed that. Oh, I better not lose him after this. After being with him for so long, I better not lose him. I will be so mad. Stay with him, I'm with him. I'm with him. Okay, good. Well, I was getting a little worried there. Well done, Patrick and SpongeBob. Here's your reward. She said my name first. Oh, oh Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> when SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. 
And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy goobill, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkler system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Google eyes and smelly knickknacks. This is Shell City? What a horrible place! But don't worry, there must be a way out. God, the Cyclops is really messy. He's got all these. Good wires job around. getting the crown. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? Lady, you must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. There's no time to waste. Find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I should have figured. I didn't do that. Oh, one of three faucets turned. Okay, okay I gotta turn three faucets. That was actually really freaky. I should have guessed this would be um, a slidey kind of level. I don't even know what you call these levels. Actually, Neptune's crown is really small. Come to think of it, it is really small because we're sitting here sliding it inside of it. I, I didn't notice that till just a minute ago. Patrick, looking good. Who said that? <laughs> Patrick, looking good, man. If I had to take a guess, the third faucet would have to probably be on the blue. Hose slash wire slash whatever the heck this is. Okay, we messed up. I wasn't paying attention. But at least it saved our progress with the faucets, though. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Okay. Not too bad, though. It's not, it's not that big of a setback. We still got two out of three. Faster, faster! Okay. Now we're gonna get to is the blue one. Okay, good. Now just ride this, and I'm pretty sure the third one should be on here. not where's the third boss that then maybe we jump off here <laughs> we just take it oh third third boss okay I think I bugged it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bugged it right there. Hmm, didn't do that before. Okay, so do we jump down here? Yes, no, maybe? Oh! 
Honestly, I don't know how to go about this. I don't know how to get to that. Should we ride the... Looks like we should ride the blue one. Yeah, maybe we should we should just maybe stick on this blue one and then we'll get to it. Look, it's what's his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Checkpoint. I see at least three of them. Okay, yeah. So long. Yeah, we'll hit the next one here in just a second. Now I know how my ancestors felt. Oh, 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 no, 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 I fail! Okay, I'm really bad at these, dude. Okay. Right, let's try this again. We just ride blue, this blue connection, all the way up. No. We don't. We ride this. We can just jump up here on these lands. What? Uh, I double jumped. It. What? Uh, what? What? Yeah, put me all the way down here. Hang on. Let me just see if I can respawn and get closer. Cause that's too far of a ride. Before. Gonna try this again. I think I'm just gonna be known for being notoriously bad at platformers. <laughs> there we go, I double jumped. Could just be user error, but I will not claim that. Nice. You left a trail of debris in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. <laughs> nice. We're actually probably pretty close to finishing the game. And so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. Hooray! 
David so, Hasselhoff. Where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come! Yeah, we're probably gonna have to fight Dennis again. Yeah, Dennis trucks back. That's what I figured. What does Dennis have in store for us? Unidentified object off the hindquarters. Bigger boot? But how? Did you miss me? Oh God, Dennis, you're really ugly. Dennis, you're really ugly. Oh gosh. Surf's up. My shorts. So how am I supposed to counter him? Am I do I just go up to him and fight him? Uh, yeah, that's probably what I do. Let me just upgrade it though. So now I press it again to detonate it. Right. Patrick's really massive. Look at the back of the foot, though, back there. You call that Shiatsu? Which I said that about the last time we fought Dennis. It didn't turn out so good. My sweat is SPF 30. Your sweat is SPF 30. Get this other one. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was really focused on that. <laughs> Poor Dennis. You know, at that point, I kind of would just give up. Yay, Patrick! We did it! Hooray for SpongeBob and Patrick! <laughs> now, where were we? Wait, Dennis. Uh, look out behind you. That's it. I'm through messing around. That don't later, make sense. We just fought him. Ah! Ah! Goodbye. Am 
After many adventures, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. Where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets, there is now Planktopolis, a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind-controlling buckets. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and the pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. Oh no. Welcome to Planktopolis, minions. Uh, actually, we, we're getting to the end of the game. Heads are being controlled by those statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control over them. We're getting near the end of the game, I think. Uh, probably a few more levels than what I'm I thought. sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the Sonic Wave. The Sonic Wave. But Mindy! How many sorry, do I need? SpongeBob. Can you hear me now? How many do I need? Probably 35 or 40. Let's see if she says. You need more Goofy Goober tokens before I can teach you the Sonic 40, Wave. okay. Alright, looks like I'll have to do some more challenges offline, my dudes. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Um, yeah, this one was pretty fun. It was a little longer than the, the last two. Uh, I wanted to make it a little longer. Um, but I'll do some of the offline or challenges offline. And then we'll go and get this move and then try it out in the next episode. Um, but if you guys want more SpongeBob content and just more retro gaming in general, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.